Have you ever been caught out on the road with a dead battery? Well, it's no fun, but I might have a solution for you. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it Welcome right? back to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the T8 Apex Jump Starter from Fantic. Fantic recently reached out to me to have me review a new portable tire inflator, and I will be reviewing that product in an upcoming video. However, they also shipped me this T8 Apex Jump Starter. But before I go any farther, I just want you to understand that Fantic is not sponsoring this video and no money has exchanged hands. However, Fantic did send me this T8 Apex to test out and review. Also, I would encourage you to watch this video to the very end, because I'm going to reveal a special discount code that could save you some money just in case you're in the market for a portable jump starter. So first, let's open up this box and see what's inside. Okay, well it comes in a pretty substantial box and it actually feels pretty heavy. So let's open this up, see what's in here. I already cut the little plastic tab. Ah! Hope I didn't break anything. Okay, very nice package. Um, these companies seem to spend a lot of money nowadays on packaging. This is really, really high quality embossed print. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Just a little sheet of paper here with some motivational messages on it. Okay, here is the main unit. This is the uh, jump starter itself. And uh, pick it up. It's, it's actually it's pretty heavy. It feels very substantial. Uh, first impression is it feels uh, very, very well made. High quality. It, um, I don't know, it just, if, if it, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty substantial. So let's... Uh, pull off this band. Let's see it. On the back it says caution fully charged before first use. Okay, so that's good. So I'm just going to slip that off of there. We'll set this to the side for now. I'm going to come back and take a look at this in a second. I just want to see what else is in the box. So I'm going to lift out this little piece here. And we have two more boxes inside. It looks like this is, yeah, this is the, uh, the little kind of alligator clamps. I call them alligator clamps or, um, you know, this is what you would connect to your, to your battery terminals. They feel pretty, that's pretty standard stuff. And then, of course, you have a, like a plug and play, a little plug here. Uh, that will plug into this unit so that you know to to get power, obviously. So that's uh, those look pretty well made and nice. And then we have this other smaller box over here. And let's see what we have in here. It looks like we have a oh a couple of cables, uh, like an owner's manual. There's a little uh, owner's guide manual to explain how it works. There is a storage bag, <clears throat> actually pretty nice little bag that you could, uh, I think you'd be able to easily store this and the clamps and everything in this bag. We'll talk more about this later. And uh, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable, and we have a USB-A to USB-C cable that comes with it. And they feel like pretty substantial, well-made cables as well. 
So that's everything that comes in the kit or in the box. And my understanding is this is the standard package. They also have a deluxe. Now let's take a little bit closer look at the unit itself. Uh, there is a power button here on top. Uh, there is a 12 volt out. Now that is going to be, and it is behind a, what looks to be like a water proof sealed cap. And when we pull it out, uh, this is where we plug in our jumper cables, our alligator clips or clamps. On the other side, we have a couple of USB ports behind a um, another one of these waterproof uh, seals. And it looks like there's a USB-A and a USB-C. Now on the little cover, it says that the USB-C port is in or out. So you can apparently charge this from the USB-C port. Uh, the USB, it doesn't say. I'm assuming it's simply an output. So, and then uh, you can basically turn, we'll turn it on, hold this button down, and you see a really nice little display here. Um, for some reason, this is 100% charged. So it came fully charged, but if not, if obviously you would charge it before you would try to jump a battery. And there's also a light. It looks like this light on the end and that has, um, there's a button on the side here to turn on the light. So it's like a, I'd say that's like a, a pretty powerful emergency flashlight. Seems like it's uh, pretty bright. And then let's press it again, see what happens. Okay, you get like a flashing, I'm not sure if that's an SOS. Somebody out there that knows SOS or, uh, you know, knows the codes, tell me if that's an SOS flash. It could be. And then uh, if we press it again, you get like a, I'd call this like a hazard light, like an emergency light if you're on the side of the road and you wanted to put this, you know, 100 yards away from your car so nobody hits you or something. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then you hit the button again and it just turns it off. So it cycles through those three uh, different lights. And then uh, I'm assuming to turn it off, we just press and hold this down till the yeah till the light goes out. Okay, so let's go back and talk a little bit more about this Fantic T8 Apex. Most portable jump starters are primarily designed for automotive use. This one's no different. However, they should be compatible with any 12 volt battery equipped engine. Therefore, you can use this T8 Apex to jumpstart your boat, your ATV, and of course, your motorcycle battery. And of course, your car. And by the way, if you've ever had a battery die on your motorcycle, leave you stranded on the side of the road or somewhere else, please tell that story in the comments down below. I actually do read all of the comments. I'd be interested to know what your experience was. The T8 Apex claims to have a peak current of 2,000 amps and capable of starting gas engines up to 8.5 liters and diesel engines up to 6.0 liters. So this unit should be more than capable to start any motorcycle. The unit's portable, should fit easily into your saddlebag or trunk if your motorcycle is equipped with that. It might even fit into a tank bag, although it's a little bit heavy for a tank bag. What I like is the unit is IP65 rated, so it's water resistant and dust proof, making it a good choice for adventure bikers or off-road applications. The jump start an engine with a dead battery is really pretty simple, actually. You just plug the clamps into the unit, attach the clamps to your battery terminals, press the power button to turn the unit on, and then start your engine. I'm really not sure if they could make it any simpler to use. Now you can also use this T8 Apex to charge other devices like cell phones, drone batteries, or even a laptop since it does deliver 65 watts through the USB-C port. 
So I could basically charge my new MacBook Pro 16-inch using the T8 Apex. The T8 Apex also has that built-in emergency flashlight, which is a pretty cool feature, has the flashing white and the flashing red hazard lights. Fantic claims the unit will hold a full charge for up to two years when unused in storage. Of course, I haven't tested that. I have no idea how adverse temperature extremes might affect that. But if it does hold a charge for up to two years, that's pretty impressive. The T8 Apex charges through the USB-C port, and it can be fully charged in 90 minutes if you use the optional 65-watt charger. I'm going to talk more about that 65-watt charger here in a minute. A normal USB-C charge takes about five hours to fully charge it. Now, you might be asking yourself, how long does one of these things actually last? Well, Fantic claims the lifespan to be about five years and that the battery should support up to 500 full charges or cycles. Now, unfortunately, I do not have access to a dead battery, so I've been unable to test the T8 Apex in real-world situations. So if any of you have used this product to start your engine with a dead battery, put it in the comments down below so everybody can hear your experience. Otherwise, I'm just going to take Fantic's claims at face value. Now, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to tell you how you can save some money on this T8 Apex Jump Starter. But before I do, I'd like to ask you a big favor. If you're enjoying this video and are passionate about motorcycles, please click the subscribe button and that little notification bell below. It's completely free to subscribe to my channel, and it really does help me reach my goal in 2022 of 50,000 subscribers. Not that you care, but be kind of cool. Okay, now about that money-saving offer I promised you. The T8 Apex comes in two versions, a standard package like we have here and a deluxe package. The standard package includes the T8 Apex Jump Starter, the USB-C to USB-C, USB-A to USB-C, and the Jump Starter clamps, and of course the storage bag. Cost is about $139 for the standard package. The deluxe package includes everything in the standard package plus the 65 watt fast AC charger, which allows this unit to be fully charged in 90 minutes, a cigarette lighter style car charger, and a really nice hard shell storage box. The deluxe package sells for around $169, so about $30 more than the standard package. And I think it's probably well worth that extra $30. And of course, because you're all loyal Cruise Man's Garage subscribers, you did click that subscribe button, right? You can save $35 on either the standard or deluxe models by using promo code CRUISEMAN35 when you place your order. Now, I'll put links to the standard and the deluxe models in the description of this video. So if you're interested in the T8 Apex, make sure you check out the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. That really does help with our YouTube rankings. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you on the next episode of Cruise Man's Reviews.